Hi everyone, my name is Jerry Wise. I want to talk about how the narcissistic families cause struggles and destabilize your life. One of the difficulties is the inheritance as well as the trauma of excessive anxiety. And we struggle with excessive anxiety when we're adults. Well, as kids as well. And, and we get the two layers of anxiety. One is the CPTSD anxiety. The other is the family systems emotional anxiety from the system. And those are two different anxieties, but they do interact. And also, if you can deal with one, it can help with the other. If you deal with the other, it can help with the other one. So there are ways to help with CPTSD in ways you may have not thought of. And so we have two layers of anxiety. And so many of us inherit this anxiety. Uh, and even if there wasn't trauma, we still may have family anxiety. And you may think, well, I'm a pretty calm person. You know, I'm pretty caring and thoughtful because that's what I thought. I thought I'm pretty calm, pretty level-headed, pretty... I was very reactive on the inside and anxious on the inside, which I was not aware of. I was a good codependent, as a recovery codependent, very good codependent. So I could look good on the outside, but in the inside, I'm, I can get pretty triggered and have lots of anxiety. And that anxiety felt normal. But if we get upset easily, if we get hurt easily, if we get angered easily, if we get any of those easily, in terms of emotionally, then we probably have too much anxiety, even if we don't show it. And we probably have too much family systems anxiety within us. And, uh, and I understand there are empaths and, you know, I, I understand all that, but I, I, I don't want to address that right now. I want to talk about this anxiety. We'll, we'll do another video about empaths. If you grew up in a dysfunctional or narcissistic family, you have too much anxiety. Even if you don't feel it as nervousness or fear or even if you're not aware of it, I'm telling you, you have too much because that's probably going to guide you in a lot of your responses and you're going to go, my response is very normal. But actually your anxiety is pushing that extreme response. But we don't see that. That's not something we're aware of. So that can cause our lives to be destabilized from a growing up in a narcissistic family and having CPTSD. Number two, narcissistic families cause struggles finding our true selves. And as I have mentioned in other videos, when we are growing up in a narcissistic family, there are many self switches that are turned off. What are my feelings? What are my thoughts? What are my beliefs? Do I love myself? Can I love myself? Who is my true self? Those switches are turned off growing up in a dysfunctional or narcissistic family. And this destabilizes our adult lives, leaving us unable to point to our true selves, our true north, our true feelings, our true beliefs, and when people say, I, I don't know what I want. I don't know who I am. And I go, yes, you do. You have just had those switches turned off. You do know what you want. You are just not that program or that app has not been turned on so that you can give yourself permission to go. Oh, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. It's not that you're dumb or inadequate or less than anybody else or it's those switches got turned off. And so you're going to be, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I believe. I don't know what my feelings are. And usually, just a little hint, if someone says they don't know, I usually will suggest to them, tell me, just simply say, I'm just not ready to tell you. Because it's not really a don't know. It's I'm not ready to tell you because that switch is off. 
and I can't violate that switch because I will get punished. I will get raged at. I will get, you know, all kinds of things from CPTSD. And so I can't from all the past childhood stuff. And I can't do that. So it's not that you don't know. It's just that you could know, but that that program's turned off. We learn to be strangers to ourselves. Life feels like we are walking a tightrope, often feeling like we will be falling soon. And, and that's a normal experience of growing up in a narcissistic family. Number three, we have struggles with emotional triggering, easily pinged with fears, moodiness, depression, hopelessness. Even when we're successful, even when we feel like we have everything we've kind of worked towards, we even fear that we will die sooner than everyone else. And that's from the research. Adult children tend to believe they will not live as long as other people. Other people will say, oh, I think I'll live to be 85. An adult child will go, I probably don't know that I will live that long. You know, they just have that feeling of the other shoe dropping. And, and so they're always on this tightrope, and we have that anxiety. Some talk about it, okay, you're, you're in a cage with a lion, and you just kind of feel like, I'm just so stressed. Uh, even though there may not be any lion there, we perceive a lion being there. And so we have this heightened anxiety. And our emotional system is very stressed, and that destabilizes our adult life. This destabilization creates havoc for us as adults. CPTSD is characterized with hyper-emotionality, at least internally. We may feel angry, irritable, hurt, have an unfulfilled hole, shame, rejection, abandonment. All that's going on, and, and that's what I mean by hyper-emotionality. We have this hyper-emotionality that's going on. And it's very uncomfortable and certainly doesn't make us happy. I want to share, before I continue, the work of self-differentiation is a powerful way to, to move beyond CPTSD. Join my online program and learn more about self-differentiation and healing. If you've been working on your recovery for a long time, check out my program. I think you'll find some missing pieces to recovery. You also get a one-on-one -on -one group sessions with me live for a year. Number four, struggling with our beliefs that hurt and misdirect us about ourselves and others. We get these program beliefs growing up in a narcissistic home about ourselves and about others. How does this feel? I'm always to blame. I'm stupid. Oh, I'm, st I'm unlovable. Nobody would love me. I'm just worthless. The world is full of people in which no one can be trusted, nor is really are there any good people out there. No one can touch me without a hidden or ulterior motive. Not even my spouse, child, mother, whomever, grandchildren, because again, we may have experienced some abuse. I would guess these messages could be found in the last five generations of your family, somewhere, if not many places. And we have come to struggle with those which destabilizes our adult life. Number five, struggles with recycling the trauma day after day. We have become our own echo chamber for our past struggles and traumas, particularly CPTSD trauma. As an adult, my life is destabilized through flashbacks, excessive triggering, fight, flight, freeze, and fawning internal states. I have a friend who cannot have someone stand behind him near a pool. He's a great swimmer and a great surfer. But his father tried to drown him when he was young. This destabilizes his fun at a party with a pool. He was traumatized. 
His father was probably drunk from my understanding. But that would create panic and fear and even the fear of death in a child if you have a dad who's doing that, who's supposed to be protecting you. I have a world-renowned neurologist who's head of a large city hospital in Europe. If someone challenges him through contempt or saying something snide like, well, that's not how we do it here, Dr. Smith, or we have figured out a better way to do it than that, or you know, Dr. Smith, department heads come and go. This triggers his childhood trauma of being manipulated and shamed by a narcissistic father and mother as a child by his abusive father, who was also a well-known neurologist, who shamed him into going into neurology. He can even have physiological symptoms, sweaty palms, forehead, feeling intense anxiety, and a desire to kind of melt away. Now, he's been working on that, and, and he has reduced a lot of family systems anxiety, and that has helped him at work tremendously. There is hope. I want to thank you for watching today. Have a great day, and be wise.